3-1 Master Mode. The budget is slightly higher. There are extra static joints, but there are more checkpoints and there's a vehicle convoy. So instead of just doing a half pipe loop up to here, you must fully loop them up to here, have them come back down, loop into this checkpoint, and then launch to hit out here. Like I almost want to start my loop from here. Maybe like this. And then I want these to jump. And this jump actually shouldn't be too bad. Like that should work, but now we have to actually loop them to get into this cycle while not hitting the plane at all. So that part's gonna be pretty tough, I think. Oh, here's what I'm thinking. We do something like this. So there's a gap in the loop itself and that same gap is shot to end the level. Yeah, now we're talking. This seems fun. Let's get that. Let's get these. And then up here. And then let's try to actually dodge the plane. That looks good, right? This hopefully won't fall. Okay, so not the best landing. Let's try to tweak that a bit. Okay, that's a little too fast. Okay, maybe I just want to get rid of this then. And just change this so it goes backwards from here. There we go. Oh, but the back ones get more speed. I have to somehow slow down the other vehicles. I mean, I have to have them not be able to hit each other. Like, my goal is to make all the cars basically identical. What should I do here? Freaking spring? Maybe that's the move. Wait, what if I take these away and the A2 and A3 cars do multiple loops? <laughs> Wait, yeah, hold on. No! <laughs> what if they just do multiple loops? <laughs> Oh, all three hit the star. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If all three hit the star, we just need a really good catch then. This just has to catch. Come on. Yes? No. That's fine, I think. Uh, this still might work, but I don't want to have breaks. All right, we got a working design under budget, but with the brakes. Let's see if I can fix those brakes. <gasps> no, it freaking buckles, dude. Wait, it hasn't failed yet though. Oh, please, please count it. <laughs> I don't care if one of them does a double loop. That's a win in my book. How did people get the cars to not hit each other? Well, they did hit each other. Uh, it's just the way they landed happened to be better. Level 3 to Master Mode. The budget is much higher, but the bulldozer starts on a cliff. <laughs> that is a long way down. This is kind of like the challenge level that there's going to be a massive drop off. Oh, God. So I, I, I need to, a freaking dangling road. We must dangle our way to victory. So here's how I want to do this is set this up here and then start making a ramp that kind of comes down like this. Honestly, maybe just having it drive down is cool too. So something I want to see is whether or not this holds up. No, that doesn't do jack to hold up. So I could do the classic maneuver known as anchoring at the edge of the world. You mean cheating? No, no, not cheating. It's, it's completely legitimate. A viable strategy. And then what I must do is change this up so the actual dangling road catches it. I would never cheat in bridge game. Maybe you need two ropes anch or cables anchored to the edge of the world. Honestly, they probably could just be ropes. Might as well save money on this, right? There we go. No breaks. All right, so then the right side must be anchored by springs as well. And honestly, I think I will just entirely detach that and go here. So you might be wondering, well, how is it going to get up to the land? Well, I'm just going to do a separate, but still legitimate, a uh, land brace that this can drive up. What is my opinion of pomegranates? They're actually fucking amazing. Had a pomegranate not too long ago. It was juicy and delicious as hell. And I will not tolerate pomegranate slander in this chat room. All right, maybe I need to like compress these springs or something. No, I don't need to compress these springs. I just need more springs doing the job. Um, instead of like using intelligence to beat this, I'm just going to jam springs. What? Did that not connect or something? Uh, connected to nothing. Perfect. Um, not perfect. 
<laughs> a bit of a disappointment, actually. Maybe I'll just bring it lower. Screw it. I mean, if I if this goes bad, I can just brace against the wall again. <laughs> what a break. Hopefully, ooh. All right, so that's a pretty bad hit. Maybe take two. No, that that this needs to be steeper then. There we go. No breaks. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> not bad at all. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what this level was. As far as like official levels go, I think this was one of my least favorite. So the creators of this did what they could. 3-3 three, three master mode. The budge is much higher. Wood and steel limits are swapped, but the dump truck is American. A <coughs> hundred polygrams. Uh, so I remember when I loved super heavy stuff levels. Turns out hard versions of uh, super heavy vehicle levels are not at all what I'm good at. I might just look at what other people did. <laughs> Popcorn says reinforced road muscles up the ass and so many connecting cables. Oh god, there's so many cables. You know what, maybe that's just the play. Just doing a bunch of nestled cables. I think the cleanest one's mine cats. Yeah, that's the cleanest one, without a doubt. So, he had, like, some sort of thing like this. Like, these went low. And then the middle one was, like, more up here. Like that. But this isn't even every single piece of steel. It was something like this. Oh, then this connected, and this connected. It was something like that. And then, what goes wrong? No! What the- <laughs> Go fuck yourself! Wait, I'm like, that's so good! <laughs> Um, that's fine. I'll just do the classic like instead of a muscle. I could do a muscle, but I'm not going to yet I'm not even using my steel. That's crazy <laughs> No <laughs> Eat shit. What if this just gets lowered like this? Is that a better or worse arch? It's better wait better by a lot <laughs> What the hell wait, that's just super clean. Like, I don't even use all the steel. There's only one overlapping cable. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember this design. So it's multiple arches, basically. There's one arch going from here, and then going up here. And then this is kind of overlapping, but not really. And then the other arch is the other symmetrical one going over here. I don't know why it works, but... <laughs> you know, Polybridge. Level 3-4 of Master Mode. You get $20 extra because I'm feeling nice today. But... There's another checkpoint, and the taxi is much heavier. Good thing we have extra an extra $20, because, uh, these checkpoints are far apart. So when you, when you do a drawbridge, at least we have the hydraulics controller, but it's gonna be really weird doing a drawbridge that also goes up. 13 roads, hold on, so how many roads? How's that really fair? So 13 roads gets here, and then... So then, do we get five roads from the side joints to this middle joint? Please. Good. Five roads. That's not too bad. Right, so here's the idea. These three roads in the middle, uh, obviously they're still going to function as a drawbridge, but they're also going to be, uh, they're also going to go up to exactly this point here, which is conveniently the opposite point, making this joint be the midpoint of this point and this point, meaning this bridge can swing up and down to hit both checkpoints. Now, how heavier is this stuff? 4.5 polygrams and 10 polygrams. 10 polygrams is not that bad. Ah, uh, so I want to move up a distance of three meters. How do I want to elevator this? One thing I actually maybe want to do is not have this connect, which sounds pretty weird, but it's an idea that is based off of this being its own thing, and then I'll pull it in with hydraulics as this gets pushed up. All right, so another thing I want to do is a muscle here. We uh, we know the drill here, but I have to be careful not to push up too high, because it only needs to go up three meters in total. So I'm just going to do this default muscle. We'll see if it works out. And then we're going to obviously do steel up top. And then if this attaches with one hydraulic, it doesn't. Awesome. We're over budget already. Oh, that extra $20 did not go very far. Okay, let's, uh, whoo, let's do a little cheaper design. Oh, it doesn't matter. These hydraulics cost so much. I'm gonna save money here with a wood, of course. And holy crap. <laughs> this is gonna be hard to budget. I mean, I'll have to save money on the hydraulics. I think they're just gonna be placeholders for now then. So something I'm curious is whether or not this works. I want one to be a contracting and one to be expanding. 
and then I only want the contracting one to go during B and only the expanding one to go during D. So let's see if this gets anywhere close. I mean, I have my doubts and we're over budget and it's gonna take a lot of tweaking to get the distances we want, but I'm hoping at least there's some merit here. Like merit in, in that we dodge the boat and that this gets pushed up reasonably. Honestly? Okay, yeah, there's merit here. There is merit. So now I don't think that this is gonna come back down to click with here. Partially because this is too high and because just the way this is set up, yeah, it barely moves. But I think we have a concept here. This just needs to be lower. So what I want to do is just simply move these in and have the mid piece be wood. All we need is a solid click and we're in. Maybe if I have this lower a bit more, it'll click. But it looks like it, they just need to, the bottom things need to expand higher. So the way to make it expand higher is, I guess, by having the middle be hydraulic, but that's expensive, so I'm trying to avoid that. Oh, well, that holds two. I mean, we could just run with that. I mean, this is messy, but it's a start at least. Now we need to shave 4,000-ish dollars. I don't think the left side was that stressed, was it? Yeah, okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about wood. Okay, here's another idea then. If I just remove this steel, how about I just do wood triangles instead? Like, sure, we're pulling from the middle of the structure, but that shouldn't matter as long as everything's attached. So honestly, we could then go to this side, getting rid of the steel. But I have a feeling because it doesn't click, this car coming over is gonna, whoa. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I, before I make any more shaves, I absolutely have to, without a doubt, make it click. Yeah, I did see stuff about mods for Battle Royale. I'll take care of that. Eventually, that's a click. Okay, so we have a break, but that's a click. Clicks are good. So this is nice. This is looking really good. I guess this could technically be rope. Well, let's see. Moment of truth. Ah, ha, ha. unfortunately, it doesn't work as well. What if it's just wood triangles then instead of rope? I mean, it should be stronger than the single rope piece in some ways. Because did you see like when it clicked how some of the pieces on the side became a little bit stressed? All right, doesn't matter. We got it under budget. Not my cleanest bridge because the calculations were just a bit off. I could try to mess with that, but it is a working bridge. Nonetheless, I do feel good about it. Level 3-5 Master Mode. The budget is higher, but the bridge must dip to collect the checkpoints. And not just dip, but also make it back up. Oh, this is going to be weird. So I'm going to hand draw this road because I want to barely clip the top of the star. Although, to be fair, I can do it like this. <laughs> so like that. What a weirdly shaped bridge. You're telling me. I mean, that's what's nice about Master Mode. We're having to do different stuff than what we're accustomed to. So obviously, it's going to be all steel under supports. I think it's actually going to connect to here. This is just maybe unnecessary. Uh, let's set this up here, I think. Honestly, I feel like this should be reinforced better, but it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna have this go low then. A little bit of dangling down here. I guess I can use rope, come to think of it. Rope down here and then steel that goes into this. And then this will be an over support. Uh, I also think that these should be reinforced roads just because I think there's gonna be some tension here. This has a lot of budget to spare, so I have very low expectations for this working. But I'm curious if it gets anywhere close. 33% stress. That's not terrible, but it looks like the worst is in the roads. So it looks like we will need to reinforce all of these roads. Maybe some under supports would be good. So maybe more of these, like so. And then this should be a steal because we have to complete the arch. Still 30% stress. That's because the middle's bad. You know what? Reinforce roads all the way across the board. Um, yeah, so now it's these roads up here that are under more stress, but that shouldn't be a big deal. All right, so we hit the first checkpoint without any problems. Now, are we going to hit the second checkpoint? Sh oh, I was really banking on the back clipping. All right, so two problems. We actually have a break here. And second, the back does not clip the star. So I want to first get a cable here. And then second, ramp this up just a little higher. Now the road is extra strangely shaped. Okay, or the front could hit. But now it doesn't climb the hill. So we got to lower this a bit. Come on, back of the truck. I'm rooting for you. It also might not have just been able to make it over that hill. There we go. Back of the truck coming in clutch. And it's not going to make it up here, is it? Actually, I have an idea. Let's just build more bridge. We can just we can just do this. Because I think the problem isn't the, the slope, but the change of angle. So let's just have the angle change be better and we should be good. Yeah, just a little bit extra steel here to support this. Seems pretty well supported. I think it'll work. 
And it makes it over. No, there's a break. It doesn't count. Ref didn't see it. That's a win. Let's go. Let's carry on to the next level.